Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and over the past one day, we have obviously seen the price of Ethereum drop down to this exact price target at 1700 and then find a lot of support at 1700 as expected. So what will the price of Ethereum do next? And well, I'll be talking more about that in just a moment alongside the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart, which is currently very important to pay attention to, but more on that later in this video. Definitely stick around. First of all, starting off on the daily Ethereum chart, and obviously we broke below that 78.6% Fibonacci level, which was coming in at around 2.1K to 2.2K. And in fact, if you zoom in closer to this break to the downside, what I was saying yesterday is basically we need to see at least a daily candle close below 2.1K. And if we see that happen, then we'll drop towards 1.7K. And basically we got a daily candle close at around 2,080. So obviously that is just below 2.1K. And then the moment we saw that confirmation of the break, of this important Fibonacci level, then we saw a move down towards $1,700 per Ethereum, and then we saw a lot of support at pretty much that exact price level as expected. So hopefully those of you who have been watching my Ethereum update videos made a lot of money on this dump to the downside down towards $1,700, because from the moment we got that daily candle close down towards $1,700, if you shorted that move, even with no leverage, you could have made a 17% profit if you got out a little bit before $1,700, because personally, when I short, I take profits just before we hit a level of support and when I long I take profits just before we hit a level of resistance and I would never recommend leverage for complete beginners out there but for those who are a little bit more advanced even just a 6x leverage on this 17% move would have doubled your money and in case you're wondering what exchanges I use to trade Ethereum right now I only use Bybit and honestly I am not just saying that because I'm affiliated with Bybit I've actually been using Bybit for longer than I've been posting videos on this channel but if you do appreciate these videos and these predictions you can actually help support the channel and get yourself a free deposit bonus just by creating an account with Bybit using the link down below in the description. It'll be the second link down below in the description and in the pinned comment. But anyway, now that Ethereum has hit 1700, technically speaking, this bear flag has fully played out according to the technical price target. And so right now, the price of Ethereum is basically between support and resistance. And of course, our support is 1700, but our possible point of resistance is around 2.1K to 2.2K, considering we did previously find support and also resistance at around that sort of price in the past. And in fact, if you're looking at the price of Ethereum during the middle of last year, when Ethereum crashed down towards 1700, we actually ranged in between that price range that I just spoke about for roughly around one month. So we could be in for a bit of a sideways price range moving forward. And so basically reduced volatility compared to this drop just here. I don't expect another move like that immediately after we just had that move. So essentially what is most likely in the shorter term is for the price action to start chilling out a little bit and somewhat stabilize within this price range, at least in the shorter term, talking about the next few days or so. But as for the larger moves in the market, I'll also be keeping an eye on what Bitcoin and what the stock market are doing as well, because usually it's what the stock market and what Bitcoin is doing that determines what Ethereum really does on the larger timeframes here in terms of these larger price movements. But while we're on the three-day timeframe, taking a look at the three-day Ethereum RSI, right now we are currently oversold, which is finally that bullish signal that I was looking for over the past few days. Once again, over the past couple of days, if you missed my recent Ethereum update videos, I've been talking about how every single time the Ethereum RSI on the three-day time frame has gotten a rejection from this line of resistance over the past one and a half years, basically. This has resulted in a lot more bearish price action to come pretty much every single time so far. But the opposite of the three-day Ethereum RSI getting a rejection up here towards this line of resistance would be if the three-day Ethereum RSI enters into oversold territories, being a bullish signal rather than a bearish signal. And so now that we are that obviously that is a good sign for Ethereum on the three day time frame at least. And if you're looking at the last time the three day Ethereum RSI entered slightly into oversold territories, that was towards the end of January this year. And obviously what came after that signal was some more bullish price action for the next two to three months, which once again is essentially the opposite of these bearish signals where the RSI gets a rejection from this line of resistance. So simply based on the three day Ethereum RSI alone, especially if we close this three day candle with the RSI in oversold territories, we are starting to look a little bit more bullish than bearish on these slightly larger timeframes for Ethereum. But unfortunately, that can't really be said for Ethereum versus Bitcoin because obviously, as I mentioned yesterday, some of these indicators were starting to flip more bearish in terms of the trend here. So essentially, I mentioned we are potentially about to resume this previous bearish trend again. And obviously, we are now seeing this previous bearish trend resume, but more violently. And one of the big reasons why Ethereum is pulling back quite a lot against Bitcoin, at least as of right now, is due to the Bitcoin dominance 
absolutely skyrocketing in the shorter term. And as you might already know, the collapse in Luna and UST was basically the catalyst of this shoot to the upside in the Bitcoin dominance, which is basically bearish for the overall altcoin market. So the altcoins on average are underperforming against Bitcoin while the Bitcoin dominance is moving to the upside. But just zooming out a little bit further on the Bitcoin dominance chart, and you can see that the Bitcoin dominance is currently running into an important level of resistance simply based on these previous highs. And that level of resistance is currently coming into play at around 44.5% Bitcoin dominance. And so right now, the Bitcoin dominance is really in a deciding moment, at least in the shorter term, because if we see a confirmed breakout in the Bitcoin dominance above this line of resistance, then we could see the altcoin market perform very badly against Bitcoin. So this is a potential risk to pay attention to moving forward. But I want to make it clear that we have not broken out just yet at the time of recording this video. And obviously, I'll be sure to keep you updated every day in these videos and in real time over on my Twitter the moment we do that. Or if on the other hand, we might end up getting a rejection from that line of resistance, which in that case would be good news for the altcoin markets. But as of right now, it is still too early to tell, which is why I was saying we're in a deciding moment right now and I'll continue to update you moving forward. And in fact, heading back to the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart on the three day time frame, you can see that over the past one year, Ethereum versus Bitcoin has actually been trending up. That is right. Over the past one year, we've essentially seen Ethereum outperform Bitcoin, but recently that is starting to change. And especially if we see a confirmed break below this line of support, which is currently coming into play at around 0.067 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And so basically, if we see a daily candle close, but ideally a candle close on a larger time frame, like the three day chart or the weekly time frame below that line of support that I just mentioned, then that could be bad for Ethereum versus Bitcoin, essentially meaning Ethereum would be underperforming against Bitcoin moving forward if we break this line of support. And this test would likely go hand in hand with the Bitcoin dominance, meaning if the Bitcoin dominance breaks out to the upside, it would likely cause the Ethereum versus Bitcoin charts to break to the downside. And in that more bearish scenario, if we do break to the downside here, of course, personally, I would rather be holding Bitcoin over Ethereum in that scenario. Of course, I would not sell all of my Ethereum, but I would move at least some of my Ethereum into Bitcoin if we break to the downside here with some confirmation. And if you want to know how to keep making money in crypto, even if prices are going down, make sure to check out one of these uploads popping up right here on your screen because in both of these videos I reveal how I continue to make money in crypto no matter what prices are doing but anyway that is everything that I have to say for today I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video